Hello everybody, I'm Helix Brightstar. Today we're going to go over the thermal pad replacement for the EVGA 1070 for the win. And it is the same as the GTX 10 set 1080 for the win as well. The method's the same. The thermal pads were provided by EVGA free of charge. They ship it to you. They ship it to me. I received mine within three days. They shipped it on the 11th. I got it on the 14th. So, pretty awesome. <clears throat> And I would like to encourage you, first of all, if you have a car that is affected by this, which the link will be in the description below, where you can find out if your card is affected or not, and be sure to look at the model numbers. That's how you match it up. There are also BIOS updates, which you should do first before you apply the thermal pad. This is a 1070 for the win. With that, we're going to transition into me taking the card out of the drive. And, of course, I have my trusty static band here connected to a power supply which I will not lift up and put over there because I don't want to <laughs> it's plugged in you know because it's grounded so be sure to have a static band it's uh, or some way to ground yourself because you don't want any accidental discharge to fry your components the system is completely unplugged held the hold the power button for count to like 300 uh, 30 one thousands for 30 seconds to fully discharge any excess voltage or whatever that may be stored up in the circuitry or whatever on the PCB and things like that in order to again prevent static discharge which you do not want to happen I cannot reiterate that enough alright so now we got the card out of the case so now I will show you the thermal pads that comes in a pack it's directly from EVGA with that and it also comes with a set of instructions EVGA thermal pad mod installation guide and it takes you through all the cards that are affected it's the GTX 1080 classified the GTX 1070 classified the GTX 1080 and 1070 for the win and the regular GTX 1080 and 1070 I believe the super clock is also and the black edition super clock and the black edition are also affected by this I heard somebody mention, I don't know, one of the one of the tech guys that I follow mentioned that there's also <clears throat> a uh, the 1080 maybe uh, 1060 rather may be affected as well. I don't know for, for a fact, so you should fact check that if you have that card. All right, so the thermal pad kit. I'm just going to go ahead and open that now before we start taking my card apart. And yes, I'm doing this on my own card. And I'm doing the reason of this video is to show you that anybody can do this. Uh, I'm tech savvy, but I'm not an expert by any means. I'm just a regular guy working to do the best I can with what I have to make it last and to make it work. All right, this is the thermal pump compound that comes with it. However, I have Arctic Silver, which is what I used to build my rig that I have. This is Arctic Silver number five. All right, and then of course the thermal pads that it comes with. This, these right here, these three small ones are for the VRMs, which will be in between the PCB and what's called the base plate, which I'll show you what that is here in a minute. Uh, this one here goes on the, the VRMs, and then this bigger one goes on the back plate. All right, and now we'll demonstrate for you how to do that. These right here, these three strips here are to replace these VRMs. They go here, here, and here. Okay, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take these thermal pads off because we're replacing them. This is why you didn't absolutely have to have this part because there are some, but you see here some of them stuck to the, the uh, base plate and some of them didn't. So, just be very careful in taking these off that you don't damage anything. I will be using 91%, there we go, pro, uh, isopropyl alcohol. 70% is, is okay. Um, the other kind we had in the house was the 90, I mean the 50%, but I prefer to use the strongest I can so that I get the most off 
as quickly as possible. So put a little on your, your dabber, whatever you use. Coffee filters, I've used a lot of coffee filters in the past. Just dab a little dab will do ya till you get it all off. And the compound that they sent with the uh, the kit is the same compound they put on it from the factory. But I want to use my Arctic Silver. It's just a personal preference. And of course the Arctic Silver is a non-conductive compound, so I don't have to worry about putting too much and inadvertently causing it to short by uh, electrifying the wrong parts of the components. Okay, now alcohol is what we use to do this because it, it is evaporative and it does not leave a residue. And you do the same method there. It's not as delicate as the GPU, but I still recommend caution. Be careful with what you're doing. Don't overdo it. Don't like oversaturate this part so it's not like running everywhere because even though it is evaporative remember you still have other components here so peel that plastic part off and then take the, the thermal pad I recommend just kind of mash it down a little bit right. and then take the next part these two are together the plastic pain in the behind to get off is not they didn't cut it for some reason I guess to keep these together so they don't mess up and be careful with these because they will stretch very easily as well all right and then place them on the other VRMs or VRAM sorry I keep saying VRM And press them down a little bit just to make them make them make contact. All right. And then take the other one off. This one will be the easiest one of all because I have this big piece of plastic here. Just still uh, kind of roll it out a little bit so that you don't stretch them too far because you don't want it to be too thin in certain areas and not be as efficient at the heat dissipation as they're supposed to be. And in case you're wondering where the the package for the mod kit will, or the mod kit, the uh, thermal pad kit will come from, it will be from California here in the United States. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, they will do this for you regardless of where you are. Okay, so now that we have it on the VRMs, the thermal pads, we are going to put the base plate back on. Next part is going to be covering the VRMs here. VRAMs are under here, VRMs are there. All right, very simple. Take this other part here, place it, it's cut to fit so it won't hang over the PC, or the back plate, I mean uh, base plate. And then just tear that off or peel it off, really. And the next part, put the Arctic Silver on there. And everybody suggests a different way to do this. I like to have a little more than I need. Just because I know I'm going to overclock it. Okay, so the next part is to remove this rubber standoff, this rubber standoff, and this rubber standoff. Because that is where the, the thicker or the wider pad is going to go. So they're pretty easy to get off. Just kind of grab them and scrape them off, so to speak, with your fingernail. You should be fine with that. Just like that. Okay. 
you want to, you can get that alcohol and get this off, which is what I'm going to do. Because I don't want anything messing up my my, uh, my rig. It takes a little bit of scrubbing because it's got so much glue on it. Thankfully, the back plates are metal. Well, at least this one is. I know some aren't, but this one is. Alright, so now the next thing we do is take this, the bigger one, we're going to lay it across here. Okay, so we're going to do this the same way we did the other one, peeling it off of here, little by little, so as not to stretch the thermal pad. Just kind of rock it off gently, or roll it off gently, I guess I'm not rocking anything. gentle with it, a little at a time. A little at a time. Alright. So now, this, like I said, is going to go over here. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Must have been a little fragment of the plastic or something from the, from the thermal pad. And it just lays across here. Of course, you want to mash it a little bit. You know, kind of get it in there really good. All right. And don't worry if, if you forget anything I've told you or whatever in doing this. Just refer to the instructions and just use this as a guide to, to help you do this correctly. Because the thing I want all of us to do with our wonderful hardware is to game hard. Have fun, make content, other people enjoy seeing with us playing and whatnot, and enjoy ourselves in the process. Alright, so now we're going to put this back on the card. So there you have it folks. And by the way, the way to check what model number you have look on your tag on it and you'll see it right there that's how you find your model number right there it's also it's also on your box that the card comes in and be sure to register your card because if you're not a registered card owner then you can't get the thermal pack you can still get the uh, bios updates but you must be a registered card owner in order for your, to engage your warranty in case you just decide that this is too much hassle for you, which you know anybody can do it. Like I said, like I said starting out, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Plain and simple. I'm not the smartest person in the world. I'm not a moron either, but you know, and I don't think you are either. I think you're smart enough to do it. Anybody is, and I recommend that you follow what your instincts are. If you think it's too complicated for you, then you can RMA your card and they will cross ship it to you with one that is already fixed. All right. And this affects cars produced before the 4th, I believe it's the 4th of November. The link's in the description below to the article where you can read yourself and find out for sure. Get your BIOS updates and order your kit your thermal pad kit. <clears throat> I recommend you do so. Thank you for learning with me today. I hope you have enjoyed this and learned how to do this. And I hope that you are more confident now having watched me do it. Even with a little bit of struggle that with the difficulty of taking the power connectors off for the LED and the fan the fans. But that's to be expected and that's why you must exercise patience. And also why I say that if you think you are not able to do this maybe you're not patient enough some people just are not and that's perfectly understandable there's nothing wrong with that so don't don't think any less of yourself if that's the case if it is it is I mean that's just the way it is no big deal so they will RMA cross ship your card contact them but like I said you must be a registered card owner uh, it's real simple to get registered. You can get an affiliate code, which you'll find my affiliate code down in the description below as well. 
And if you are going to register your EVGA product or card, and you use that that uh, affiliate my my affiliate code, it will help me out, and I would greatly appreciate that. And thank you very much for watching. Be sure to click that like button down there, comment and subscribe for uh, for more videos. And I make live play games most of the time, like live streams and stuff. I do a little bit of scam warning videos about different scams that I find on the FBI's website or in some kind of email scam I see about PayPal or something like that where someone's trying to rip us off. And um, that's pretty much what I do. So you're more than welcome to subscribe. I would appreciate it. It helps out a lot. Click that like button if you like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.